we're going to choose and prepare our injection site. So what we're going to do is talk about landmarking. For methotrexate self-injection, the best sites are your abdomen and your thighs. So to landmark your abdomen, you are going to use your navel as the center of your landmarking and draw an imaginary line vertically and an imaginary line horizontally. That has divided your abdomen into four quadrants. We have our right upper, left upper, right lower, left lower. The one inch area around your navel will be a no injection so zone because there are lots of blood vessels that you need to avoid. The other sites will be your thigh. If you place your heel of your palm on your hip and the other heel of your hand to your knee, you can inject anywhere in between the space of your hands from the middle to the outer aspect of your thigh. So today we're going to be demonstrating on how to inject into your right upper quadrant. Okay, now we're going to be preparing our site. We're going to take our alcohol swab and much like preparing your vial, we're going to start from the inside and clean in circular motion outwards. We're going to take our needle, we're going to remove the cap, and we're going to take the section that we've just cleaned, pinch the area up so that we can raise the subcutaneous tissue, which is the fatty tissue in between your skin and your muscle. We're going to, in a darting motion, hold the needle and quickly dart it into the abdomen in a 90 degree angle. We're going to take our index finger and we're going to inject our methotrexate into the abdomen at a rate of three to five seconds. We're going to hold the needle after the plunger is all the way down for one to two seconds to allow for some absorption. And as we let go of our skin, we'll pull the needle out. Then we're going to take our needle and dispose of it into a sharps container. When your sharps container is three quarters full, that means it's time to ensure that it's all locked up and take it in to your nearest pharmacy for proper disposal. So now that we've completed our self-injection, we're going to finish up with our last step and that's recording our injection. You should gather some kind of a log that you have. Here we have one that shows our date, our time, and our injection site. This way you can keep track of when you last did your injection and also here I'm going to zone in on our site. It's important to know what site you did because it's important to rotate our sites. Rotating our sites avoids scar tissue buildup and in the end it will allow for better absorption and better effects of your methotrexate.